What up guys, this is Bulba here, and welcome to Wi-Fi Battle number 6. And this one is also against Rafe the Electrifying. Well, yeah, this was one of a really hilarious battle. And in this battle, I am using a new team. Uh, yeah, and Rafe is testing some new Pokemon in this one. So yeah, this was like we we're. This was like new Pokemon all around. And yeah, hope y'all enjoy this battle. I really loved it. You are challenged by Rafe once again. All right, so he's gonna send out his Cryogonal. Well, I sent out my Swampert. And my Swampert's uh, main job is just to get set up some Stealth Rocks. So he's gonna use uh, Toxic and he misses. And so I'm going to set up a free uh, Stealth Rocks, and so now he's going to use Rapid Spin just to get rid of those Stealth Rocks. So I'm like, okay, we just wasted a whole turn right there. So I'm going to use Waterfall, and I think this does, like, really good damage on him. Yeah, it would have killed him if he didn't have Focus Sash. Oh, no, I guess he lived with 1 HP. <laughs> okay, I, I was... I thought he had Focus Sash for a second. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, so he's going to use Toxic once more, but he misses again. And so I'm going to get a free Waterfall on that guy. And so that's going to kill him. Oh, and then I get a crit right there. That's kind of a wasted crit. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so he's going to send out his Furrow Thorn, which is shiny, by the way. Nice job breeding it, Rafe. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, Ice Punch because... Yeah, it does regular damage to him, but then he gets frozen. Oh my gosh, that's when Rafe was like, God dang it. He was raging so bad. Alright, so he's frozen. And so I'm going to be able to heal up with... Uh, oh yeah, so he gets Iron Barb damage on me. And so I'm going to switch out to my Magmortar, which my Magmortar wasn't supposed to be in this battle. I like messed up putting my team in. But anyways, I switch out to my Magmortar, and so he's like, oh no, this isn't good. This is not good. And so he's going to switch out, and I'm going to get a free Belly Jump right there. <laughs> oh man. And so I'm going to go down to half of my HP, but max out my attack, which is very awesome. And so Jolteon's faster than my Magmortar right now, because the Salagberry it hasn't gone in place. And so he's Thunderbolt, and I live with sev 7 HP. Oh my gosh, I, I, I wasn't expecting to live that at first, neither was Rafe, he was like, no, no, why, I get so much bad luck, and so I'm going to use Fire Punch on him, and so, he, yeah, so my Salagberry came in place right now, and so I'm going to use Fire Punch, and he manages to live with 1 HP with Focus Sash, but then I use Mock Punch, just to get him out the way, <laughs> And so this is he sent out Furrow Thorn, which is a really good choice because I my Magmortar has nothing but physical attacks. So I'm gonna use Fire Punch, and no doubt that's gonna kill him. But uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna take some Iron Bar damage, and so that, we're both gonna die right there. So that was a good choice, taking out my Magmortar right there. Sorry for shaking right now. I'm I'm still laughing from this battle because me and Rafe. Well, this battle actually took place, like, not too long ago. I think it was, like, 30 minutes ago or something. And so, yeah, he's gonna... I'm gonna send out my, my, my Milotic. Ugh. And he's gonna send out his Ursa Ring. So he, he's gonna use Fast Aid while I use Ice Beam. I would have started cracking up so bad if I froze his Ursa Ring right there. But anyway. Uh... Yeah, I get... Oh, he has Toxic Orb. The heck? So he's going to get poisoned with his Toxic Orb, and he's going to use Fast Aid again, which does a lot of damage. So I'm going to use Dragon Tail on that guy, just to get him out the way, because he's kind of a threat to my Milotic. And so, unfortunately, my Milotic was, is pretty slow, so I am unable to get a Recover off, so he's going to use Bug Buzz before I, I use Recover, and that's going to end up killing me right there. So, my low tick wasn't, eh, he's alright. He's not that bad, but he's not that good either. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to send out my Swampert once again. And Wraith pretty much hates my Swampert, just because it dodged Toxic twice before. And so I'm going to use Waterfall just to get rid of that Volcarona, but he switches out into Jellicent. And he has Water Absorb, of course. So, yeah, so... 
I'm gonna be able to set up another Stealth Rocks, cause Cryogonal used Rapid Spin to get rid of the Stealth Rocks before. So luckily, I um I got Stealth Rocks in place. That's pretty much Swampert's whole job in the game, or in my battles. So he's gonna use Toxic this time, and he finally gets it. So that was good for him. <laughs> And so I'm going to use Ice Punch just to get more damage off of him. I was hoping for another Hacks, a Freeze Hacks, but I guess not. I'm not I'm not too lucky. And so he's going to use Shadow Ball, and that's going to do not that much damage, actually. It's going to go to half of my HP. But he gets a little Hacks, which was lowering my special defense. And so, we, of course, we both have leftovers. Yeah. And so I'm going to take some damage from Toxic. And I'm back at half of my HP. And so this time I'm going to use Earthquake. And this Earthquake actually does way more damage than I expected. It did about half of his HP right there. And so he's going to use Shadow Ball once again. And that I live, I barely live with 60 HP. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so Leftovers heals me back up to 83 HP. And I think Leftovers saved me from... Uh, dying from poison Watch Yeah, I live with 14 HP Ah, uh, yeah That's like all the leftovers right there <laughs> And so, good thing my Swampert is faster than Jellicent So I'm going to be able to get off an of Earthquake And that's going to kill off Jellicent But unfortunately I'm going to die due to poison damage That's the second time both of our Pokemon died on the same turn That's kind of weird <laughs> Alright, so there goes Swampert so I'm going to send out my Yant Mega. This is the first time I used this before on on in this battle. And so he's going to send back out his Poison to Ursaring. He's going to take some Stealth Rock damage. And so I'm going to use Protect just to... Yeah, I'm just going to use Protect while he uses Fast Aid. Because I'm... The Yant Mega's ability is Speed Boost. So I use Protect and just to get a extra speed up. Just making sure I'm faster in the next turn. So I'm going to use a Bug Buzz on this turn. And I think that kills him. Yep, that kills him. <laughs> Which was really good for Yen Mega, because Ursaring, while he's poisoned, is a pretty big threat. <laughs> and so this is his last Pokemon, which is a Volcarona. And Volcarona is going to take a lot of damage due to Stealth Rocks. And so I use Hidden Power, which is Ground, which I was, I I thought that I had Hidden Power Rock, Hidden Power Rock on Yen Mega, but I guess not. I, I put Ground on it, but it still does pretty good damage to Volcarona. Not as much as I was hoping though, but oh well. And so he's going to use, he misclicked and used Bug Buzz, and that's going to take out half of my HP. He could have beat me right there, but misclicked. That changes the whole battle. Alright, so I'm going to use Hidden Power Ground once more. And I don't think that kills him. Yeah, it doesn't do anything to him. So like, god dang it. And so finally, he's going to use Fury Dance. And that's no doubt going to take me out. And bye-bye, Yen Mega. And so right now, the score is like 2-1. to one, So I'm, I'm kind of getting worried that Wraith might come back on me. Well, actually, not really, because... I was laughing too hard to think right now. <laughs> and so he's going to get leftovers. Healing one by one. Juan by Juan. Alright, so I'm going to send out my Ninetales. Which, my Ninetales has Drought ability. Who doesn't have Drought Ninetales these days? Alright, so I'm going to use a Drought powered Flamethrower. And that's going to take him out. And that will be the game. The final score is 2-0. to zero, And it was a really funny and good battle to Wraith. I really enjoyed the battle, and thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And I'll see you probably on my Banjo-Kazooie playthrough. And peace out, guys.